Alright, what was this? Destroy mines. We'll just do that real quick. Alright, we'll set course for the other Phoenix because uh, we need to test it out. Did I not get you any drones? I could get you some drones, actually. Probably help, but no. Still not paying for his repairs. He's uh, slowly getting HP back. Phoenix E. Very 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 slowly but I'm in no rush to sell it Phoenix E we'll eventually get another Aragon ship entering system a tick bus choice we could go into Boron space and see if they have a um, Gale Plate Behemoth problem. Finally found it. Nice. Was it out in the middle of nowhere? Your game, they constantly have fire problems? Oh, you mean the Boron? Yeah. I found that in the provinces of Drift Area, they always have fire problems. Fire behind the accelerator. What you want to do is get a set a ship to explore the system and see how big the radius is for the explore order. Because sometimes that, that map that initially appears is just a tiny part of the sector.
check his um, Do you know what? Probably doesn't have enough money to finish that. Yeah. Give it a little bit more money. Truth. Oh, okay, we can still command this ship, so that's fine. For whatever reason, we can't command uh, our other Phoenix at the moment. It is unfortunate, but it is what it is, right? Yeah, so he now has um, a bunch of defense drones, or not defense drones, repair drones, so he's repairing a lot faster. Instead of getting one hull point, or ten hull points, he's getting much more, so that's great. What is he getting? At 600. Per tick that's cool so once that's repaired up to whatever it'll repair up to i'll probably just i might sell it we'll transfer the name over to the next pink ship and i guess we could do the first part of the uh, boron mission i'm gonna need to buy a bunch of um Navigation probes, though. Tell us that the split despite him. Yeah, maybe. I also need to repair the fighter. Uh, what other missions do we have, actually? See, so we have that one. We have to go into Sanctuary of Darkness. That's alright. They're still waiting on 10,000 hull parts. And then talk to that guy. Oh, this is what the shielding looks like. Blasphemy. Where are all the guns? Yeah, you're not doing anything, so... Uh... Graphene refinery, are you okay? No, you're not. Um, what could be attacking a graphene refinery in Boron space? Probably our newest ship. Although, looks like light attacks. They're constant enough. If it's not a laser tower, it could be turrets. But again, like if, it, if it's turrets, it's from a capital ship, you know. It is still a slightly trash ship, yeah. It is indeed. Oh, this is now appearing as a ship. Oh, wait. Uh... 
What ship did I just send trading? Oh, it was you. Okay, that was weird. Made two grand on that. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, the prices are not great. I, I could do that. And then sell them. Oh, it's because you only picked up so many? Wait, what happened there? System. Watch or gaze. We're back to 19. Oh, because I don't have any money, that's right. Uh, oh, who'd have thought you need money? What are my turrets set to? Attack my current enemy? No. Get missiles first. Attack capital ships first. Shout out Van Dirk. Thank you for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Come on in, everyone. What did we miss? Uh, not a crazy man. We did capture two phoenixes now. We got this one in our uh, dark gray scheme. And then we also have one in bright pink. We're trying to find a scale plate that moth right now. And uh to get an Aragon ship in our Aragon run. Oh yeah, welcome on in. Uh, were you doing X4 yourself? I presume you were. Um, it is complex, but you could take it in chunks. You're not forced to learn everything straight away. I haven't looked at the new tutorials. There are brand new tutorials in the game. And you have to stop the spy. Oh, okay. I haven't done the term plot in a long time. I also didn't even look around to see if I saw anything odd on the horizon. You got your fleet slashed by two Ks and an I two sectors out. Yeah. Only sit there in a katana versus a behemoth and sporting fleet. They'll do that to you, all right. Is that station still under attack? Not a nice situation to be in for sure. Exactly, yeah. Because those the the xenon weapons just hit so hard as well. When they hit. But you are still under attack. Now, if it's just a couple of cac, I'll be a knight. They do that though, don't they? Sometimes they look like asteroids. Even in our Amara playthrough, we were attacking a shipyard. And I knew there was... What's that?
Oh, it's a sturgeon or something, probably. Wayfinder. Oh, it's that Becker. Okay. They do that every now and then, those eyes. The K knows how to position itself, unfortunately, we do not. Wouldn't be the K four on one. Was defending the station to rebuild the station. Oh, as part of the mission? Or not? Or just a, just a generic. I, I, I would love a positioning order. Say, face bow on, face broadside. Or keep the enemy broadside or something, you know? Wayfinder. What are you attacking? Oh, it's a phoenix! I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see its outline. Who'd have thunk it? A phoenix. Phoenix. E. I mean... How many crew have you got? <laughs> Vanished after you snitched on the Yaki. The Phoenix fleet grows, it does. I kind of want him to get out of range of the station. Then we can um, let the fighters keep attacking him. Send over our boarding parties. I think he is doing rather nicely. Oh, he's boosting. shot me before I shot him um, I want to get in behind him here keep boosting buddy keep boosting I want to scan him like we did with the missile we will ram him if we if we need to, to get this scan done I know. Twelve crew. You only have twelve crew, eh? I mean, Are these Phoenix ships the best utility ship? No, they're terrible, to be honest. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. Capital ships are very easy to completely wreck. Phoenix, Phoenix is not a great uh, capital ship.
Although I do like that they have no chance of piercing my shields. Get rid of these turrets. We're just gonna neuter him. They cost seven million Show without equipment on them. Is that so? To be honest, they're not really firing at us anymore. How many Marines have I got on board right now? Let's uh, disable the old turrets. I have 33 on board. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get him, boys. I'll hang out here and watch. Maybe shoot an engineer, too. Essentially making another 7 mil. Um, fully equipped about 10 mil. And with the hull repaired, it's probably going to be more than 10 mil. Go to lowest number? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we checked out um, the other Phoenix. So, like, if I sold that right now, 11.4 mil. And it's hull is at... That's at 72%. Nice. That's about as much as we're going to get for it. Without paying for repairs. We could pay for repairs and I think it's worth it. I think we've checked that before. I might be thinking of Caribbean Legend though. So, you know. <laughs> Bear that in mind. Yes, we'll, we'll just chill out here. Sure, a fleet of them will do okay, like, but what's our rep at? It's 17. That's weird. Why is that showing There's 10 crew defending it. They're a skilled crew. I need an update. Falling back. But there's only 10 of them, so if you can kill a couple. We're taking heavy losses. They should put like pixel art here. I need an update. Continuing engagement. Good god, lads. There we go, there's one dead. Come on, kill a couple more. They can kill a couple more, and then we can just send in another wave. Oh, precisely. Yeah, exactly. Anything is you know, better than nothing. There we go. Risk is low. I think we just killed the... The experienced guys. Yeah, just, just a little pixel art of, like, guys shooting at each other. I think that'd be hilarious. Boom, look at that. Look at that. Our Marines have turned it around. There's only three of them left. Like we're just watching numbers tick over, you know? Get him, boys. There we go. Man. Like two vets left, is it? Yeah. Taking heavy losses. 
Like, have you ever seen it from Glory? Oh, there we go. Hold on, boys. It's a new ship. You ever seen um, from Glory to Goo? They do. Um, where they have the ship, and the ship can get invaded, and it's literally just um, a pixel art battle of a certain number of your troops against a certain number of their troops. Uh, it's this one. How much will it sell for? Less. And it's full of graphene. Um, it's like a day. Uh, Glory to Goo is like a their billions, but in pixel art. And uh, it's it's cool. Um, we can transfer crew. To give it a captain. storage capacity reached what oh there's oh yeah it's a graphene refinery of course they're selling that take an age for that to be repaired. I don't think it has any drones left. be an issue. Hmm. As we kind of said, I suppose the eight million is um is okay, right? Oh, you'll buy for 12? Oh, screw you, Aragon. Never mind, the Boron can have it. Yeah, 12 compared to the 8. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. Perfect, I don't need to deal with it anymore. We just made a bunch of money. Hey, they're paying for the protection, you know. We hadn't come along and dealt with that. Jump gate. Unknown Wasted all that energy. They would have lost out more. No equipment selling first for a bit more cash? Nah. Nah, I couldn't be bothered with that. I do like this paint job on it though. The one thing that always bugged me about the ship designs in X4 
not enough guns. Energy? They need water. That's the boggles the mind that the boron need water imported. I meant the energy from um, from our weapons. That was the joke. We didn't actually spend anything on ammo. Jump gate, unknown sector. I can't believe I actually haven't gone into this sector yet. Ocean of Fantasy. The uh, trade station is here, isn't it? the only thing in the system? No, they're building something over there. So we have three points that we need to get with the Argon. Um, you get the plus 20. And then we'll be able to just buy a Behemoth. with Antigone though? Why is that? Oh, Sentinel? Okay, gotcha. We could do that. Oof. Could do that. We are going to be going into um, the void. I can go into second contact, go through the highway here. We'll go um, locate all of their stuff. Jump gate, great reef. Another build storage over there. out on the Hydra. Hydra. Entering Great Reef. Who knows, we might pass by a, um, another scale plate ship on the way back.
Oh, and we can uh, do this too. Just give the headquarters all the money it needs to finish the build. And it should be doing the stuff to get that too. Um, if our eyes is not doing anything here, yeah, well, how many trades he got left? Yeah, we might just get him to bring over the advanced um, electronics or whatever it is that we need there. normal order, destroy laser towers, get a couple of hundred grand for it. No problem. Around the wharf. Destroy mines. Destroy any cack ship. If you're at the beginning of the Boron campaign and like early on in your game Take these. Just take all of those missions that you can find. I knew I could count on you. But just by doing the campaign, we're gonna we're gonna do that mission, no problem. Well, I would hope. Otherwise, we'd be dead. Here's a possibility. Unknown object. So we might as well get 350k, was it? Just for doing that. <laughs> the carrier defense. Oh, any part. Even the first part. Even going to get the gate will be attacked. So we could easily finish that mission. And then we could go get more of them. If you stay in the lane, yeah. That's why I'm not going in yet, because <laughs> that's, that's my plan. Okay, I've done it in a fighter. I can do it in a fighter, I just don't want to. X3? Oh man, X2. X2 when they had their destroyers as well. Chance of one of them hidden? No weapons assigned to the active weapon group. Yes, there are. Go away. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, their their weapons won't be able to touch destroyers. Oh, maybe if I armed my turrets. Might be a thing. Hold on a minute. I think I could do that. They did touch him a little bit, yeah. But that was probably like concentrated fire from a bunch of guns. chickens. Do they have their main weaponry? Well, I guess we'll wait here. I think in my first X replay, I put a station into the Aragon system when Lyric got invaded by the CAC. Oh, President's End. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. If, if they could do um, like an AI attack rule where you could just say, hey, set this ship to attack bow on or to attack broadside. Like all the naval games can do it. It would be awesome if um, attack from X range. Oh my God, yeah, orbit at this range. EVE Online. <laughs> Let's give, give me the EVE Online commands. Do, 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 do. All the DACA. And the camera follows. See, look, they took out one of my turrets. Two laser terrors were able to take out this turret. Nearly. But yeah, I, I don't know how you balance. Um, like I love the fact that you can target the turrets and everything, but uh, you know, the fact that we have this ship because we had one Falcon that was able to completely disable it. And only implement better movement control, something like Homeworld. Would be, um, the happiest. Yeah, if, if, if you could put in the disc, just to give a reference, because sometimes it's hard to see the plane. Capitals need escorts? They do, but... You can sink a carrier with one sub. If it has no screening, but that carrier will have its own weaponry. It can launch torpedoes via missiles. That's how it should be, yeah, but they're too weak. That is the weakness. Pretty sure a carrier has its own sonar, right? It doesn't need to see it, it just needs to see its general area. Fire an exploratory uh, missile and drop a torpedo. But no, I get that. It's the same here, but I still think they're too weak. A fighter sure can be able to take out this, but how long did it take us to completely neuter the Phoenix with one fighter that had two guns? They less than five minutes. This cap is, oh yeah, this cap is terrible for um, safety. Like it has nothing on the bottom here. It's huge oversight, but I, I presume that's just part of the design because it's, it's laddie and they're terrible at fighting. You find the K hard to get to, really? Get on its back. 
entering system, Baron Shores. Get on its back near near its rear. And there's nothing it can do. Oh yeah, no, no, get above it. And then um, use the use the back to like travel forward until you can hit the tur uh, turrets. I have no issues uh, disabling a key. Quite much. There are, there are better placements. Like this, this is a huge. Has a huge blind spot. But like I would equate that to the top of the K. Same thing. You just need to get an angle where you can see the edge of the turret and don't don't target the turret. That's the thing a lot of people will do is target the turret. Because then your guns will lock if you're using like the auto assist or aim assist or whatever, the guns will lock onto the base of the turret. So don't don't have it locked and you'll just be able to shoot at the top of it. Yeah, there, there's some ships with better coverage, but um Yeah. But that goes back to the same thing. If there were more guns on the ship, it would be harder for it to do, but you could still do it. Doing it with a Corvette. Um, Nemesis is pretty good at it. If I was doing a Corvette, that would be my go to. Even the GN actually with all the turrets. Although that has the issue of aiming at the base. Yeah, I, I would suggest the um, the Nemesis would be better than the Katana in my eyes. For that. Entering system, watchful gaze. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Promotion to oh wait, oh, yeah, that's the that's that's fan. Restock cargo drones, excellent. So we have to kill seven cack ship and we get nearly four hundred thousand. No problem. How the hydro do? Again, it's not bad. It's it's more slender than the others as well. So. all about your positioning the thing with the nemesis is all the guns are very forward I think the hydra guns are a bit near they're further back so you don't need to get as much of the ship um, out past the edge to shoot Saying we can look it up, sure. Do, 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 do. Hydra, yeah, so the Hydra's guns are like back here. So you have that big snout. Whereas the Nemesis, the guns are more like central and forward, and it's just much shorter. Rolling should do it still? Oh, yeah. There's plenty of ways to do it. System. The overall point is um, disabling a capital ship is not too hard once you get used to it. Yeah, those two turrets between the engines. But like, if you're gonna, if you want to kill the K, 
and you have it immobilized um, I would just manually set if you have the rest of the turrets disabled and it's only those two in between the engines and you don't want to mess with them just set the the uh, behemoth or whatever to a, a move order in front of it and just let it blast it from the front have it flying away to a position and it'll open up, up automatically usually start there oh I'd take out the engines alright but I I wouldn't bother with those two turrets unless I had to Better fighter cover. Fair point, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we're heading to Antigone space. And then we, I suppose the next day we'll start that. Actually, I can accept it, sure, can't I? Yeah, we're just not going to talk to them. Curious what way they use armed. Um, so I haven't seen it yet. Compared to like VRO, where it has all those beams in the in the center. The U, the core ship, the Xenon core ship. Yeah, it's, it's in VRO, but it's also in the base game now. It was added in this patch. Officially. I still need to get one of them to bail. In VRO, um, he put a bunch of lasers in the middle and um, they hurt. <laughs> they hurt a lot. I do like the idea of maybe doing just a pure logistics kind of run one time. Just build up a logistics company. Because, you know, it's what I work at. Oh, damn it, there was another return to normal order. Don't mind me, I'm just wrecking your asteroids. Okay. Okay. See, I don't even know about trade stations. Yeah, I'd start out with like a trade ship. Then obviously, you know, do trade. Get more trade ships. Then get larger trade ships. And yeah, probably, I suppose trade stations, yeah. Just accumulate wealth. And what I do then is I'd I'd put in the the finances mod. Um, settings. settings. Yeah, finance up taxes, so you pay taxes for each station that you build in other people's territory, and they pay you taxes for each station they build in your territory. 
So we'd have upkeep, you know. That's something I'd love is upkeep. Like proper upkeep for your crew and stuff. That'd be so cool. That's why I like the um, stuff like uh, workers and resources. You don't think it would? It'd be nice to be able to turn it on, like after after say you own a system. You know, something like that. To have more of the like depth in the faction management. Or to have a sub faction. If you could get a sub faction so the AI could build on your behalf, like and just you know, you'd get a part of the income or something. It would be kinda of cool too. I don't know. I'm just rambling. There's a lead to nonsense like end of the month. Oh, you forgot you need money for your workers? Well, too bad. <laughs> second contact. Seven. Only if you forget. Hey, Jarg. See Kev raid again? He did a while back. That was uh, your morning, afternoon. Jarg always pops in for years now, so we gave him a redeem. He always says Newt Newt when he arrives, so he gets a Newt Newt redeem. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just spitballing, you know? their road trip nice <laughs> I tend not to drive at the weekend for reasons hey Corazan how you doing bud uh... I do need to go into the void anyway to get to um other places. Um. So they'll that station might respawn somewhere else as a smaller version later on, but that should reduce the amount of CAC appearing in the area. Yeah, in three days. Yeah, I know. What's an in game day? But the smaller hive might have already spawned. I don't think so. I think it spawns like. Alright, you know it's three in real life days? Really? I don't know the full mechanics behind it, to be honest. Um, did some reading today, so I decided to turn off your stream and get some game. Ah, nice. Far less popular in the weekend compared to the weekdays. Fair enough. Respawn after an hour. Gotcha. It's like 6 p.m. Right, we'll get there. We'll go back around to Antigone and then um, might take a break, get some food and stuff. And uh, 
might, might come back a little later on then with something else. I ended up half falling asleep last night and just didn't bother coming back. Leap is for the week. Yep. But I do love it. Entering second contact. Eleven. The equipment dock out there. Do I really want to go out and get that equipment dock or do I want to turn around and head back to Antigone? Can't remember is there a gate in this system? I don't think there is. Unknown object. The data vault. Imagine it's a data vault. Yeah, I don't know if I want to like start start proper the like uh, workers and resources in Ireland map. Um, the captain of industry had its update as well yesterday. And then Caribbean legend. We're going to be restarting in Caribbean Legend after the, the YouTube vote. Unknown object. Pretty kind of really open a food station stand thing on wheels outside my regular store. So right now I'm trying chicken shawarma. How's that going down? Now you've made me hungry, goddammit. Wait, it's... Okay, there it is. We have to get within three kilometers for... for them to tell us what that was. Oof. And bulgur instead of fries. What are bulgur? Don't know that one. Oh god damn it. It's right there, isn't it? I thought we'd get the equipment dock, but never mind. Aids is still doing stuff. The Falcon is on board with us. You're hanging out in Argon Prime. Uh like I could how much are they gonna pay for that? They're gonna pay twelve point six, hold on. They're going to pay 16 million for our pink Phoenix. It's like wheat with a like rice format, I think. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah I get You know, more than that's worth. Yeah, true. The paint job, man. You okay, buddy? Oh, laser tear. Hold on, I need to sit. I think 16 mil is a good price for that. 
it probably has better thrusters than the one we um, took in Boron Space or something like that. Hey, Jay Raven, how's it going? Um, that is the new Phoenix. Phoenix E. The part of the redesigned Teladi ships that have been re released in the first part of the 7.0 beta. Yes, this is 7.0, yeah. Beta. That's why we have the new... It actually looks good, yeah, I like it. Okay, engines. Autopilot still has issues around asteroids. But yeah, it, uh, it does look very good. And uh, we have the new uh, camera and all that stuff. The hood, as you can see, we're in travel mode, so it's all orange. Doesn't look like a freshly plucked mushroom. I kind of thought it would be cool if they added like that design to the front end in a flats kind of setting or something or even like at an angle I've never been a huge fan of the, the mushroom head but yeah um, the Teladi Phoenix and Crane and Heron all have now gotten an E variant and so has the Colossus and the Behemoth. The P and the S also have E variants which are now pilotable and capturable and then there are new terraformer style Xenon ships. Need 50 more guns to cover at least half the nonsense it has. But as we said all of the ships need more guns. That's what I liked about the Rebirth mod. Is that um, all of those ships had a ton of guns on them. This one in particular, yeah. Well, if you look at the design, right? It has guns on the top of this nacelle here. Why doesn't it have guns on the bottom? cover this entire section <laughs> you know what I mean it's like that's a weapons platform that whole thing is a weapons platform it has a large turret with guns on the top why doesn't it have guns on the bottom it should be faster than yeah yeah there's a lot of, yeah there's a lot of stuff that could be changed to make things be different, yeah. Yeah, Jay Raven, that's kind of what we were, uh, that's what we were kind of talking about earlier, is, um, fighters versus capitals. Oh, well, speaking of, here's the no new behemoth, looking very nice. Three turrets, one between each thruster would suffice for a lot. Anything, you know, it's gonna like most of it most of it is it makes sense, right? On the extremities. Then a couple on the front, that's fine. But if you have that platform there and you have turrets on one side of it, why wouldn't you put turrets on the other side of it to cover? By the way, covering your shield generators as well. Entering system, the void. The nice Aragon redesign, yeah, it's just a kind of a update. Um, I want to go straight through here. Least favorite crew needs some place to sleep down the rear of the hull and the ammo. Mm, true. 
The ship has huge blind spots. That's why we captured her with one fighter. And then used two mining ships to board it. Repeatedly. <laughs> Gotta love the scale plate. I uh, know we were looking at the behemoth. Gary. We passed by an Antigone behemoth. Actually, probably that one there. Behemoth. E. Yeah, that, that looks meaner, you know? Like a Warhammer Terminator. Picking two guns out at you. That is the gate I was after. Oh yeah, and that's, that's the gate I didn't want to go through. The top of it, well, on the top there's these, there's these three sets of turrets here covering this whole area. Now, if you want to, if you want to take this ship, just go in here, knock out the engines from here and then work away with whatever the hell you want. Beats pirating guide. <laughs> Should I do a, few, a series of videos? Hey, if you want to take this ship with one fighter, Danger. here's how to do it. Wait, did we actually lose turrets there? Hold on. No, it was the actual rocks exploding. It's crazy you've never pirated in this game? How long have you been playing? Well, just pirating and just pirating, pirating the pirates, so are you liberating then? Like 300 hours or so? <laughs> um, much less of a hassle. Mm, depends. Like, we're kind of self-restricted there by what we were doing. But as you saw with the second phoenix, like that took what? Entering system. 10 minutes, 15 minutes max to make 12 million. Wish it was possible to make a viable. Yeah, it'd be cool if there was um, more to like smuggling. smuggling. Again, I referenced Star Sector. I mean, how well can you pull that off in VRO? I don't know. It'd be similar, really. It depends on what resources you have at your disposal. So if you've done a few, a bit of work early on and you have what you need to do it, then, you know, obviously it's going to be easier than heading out in your starter fighter. Hey, there's a bunch of water. I like doing this just to move the camera around and it kind of makes it more dynamic flying in a straight line.
That's going to be a horrible amount of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Attack of Rage Protection. We could do that. I knew I could count on you. Let's do that. Buy two Antigone Memorial. Sure. Oh. Over that way. Okay. Probably a bad idea because our guns are so inaccurate. I'm sure we won't hit the transport and I'm sure Empty space. the cack won't kill it. We have the potential to finish our other mission so we could make over 500,000. Stupid eye is still hanging around, disrupting my boron money makers. Get in a nice little heavy fighter there and get on its back. <laughs> Although it probably is a support fleet around it, right? Now. I'm just gonna set this to fighters first, right? Because just to be sure they actually just do a shit ton of support. All right. It's like they came prepared. Hey, the big Brzezinski, how are you doing? These people cannot eat party so hard. Somehow it's half dead though. Probably murdered its way through a fleet of ships and stations. Here we go. Hive guard. Indeed. Dead freighters around. Protector. Oh, High nice! Five. The uh, the pulse laser hit. Damn it! He's attacking from the south, the bottom. You know what I mean? Our pilots wouldn't do that, would they? One behemoth. And well, if he focused them down, he could have done a bit of damage. <laughs> See, if the eye was focused on killing the freighters and just flew past the behemoth. Um, yeah, I guess the two large shirts do cover the bottom, like from a bit of a range past there, probably. Thank you. the deck out. Probably one of the worst ships we're doing this mission. And it, and the worst fits. Pulse lasers would be better, they're more accurate. But if they're focused on me, I don't mind. Nice, you tagged him. If they start taking out my turrets, that'll be an issue. But anyway. 
I so wish for a whole position of face enemy shoot everything at the you got at the enemy command. That's what I, that's what I was saying about the flying weight. You literally just give him a flying weight command. Oh, we have that sound bug again. I know it's not what you're talking about, but oh yeah, not what's seen on ships. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's uh. Snipe him. Protector. See, this is the thing with me, right? I like flying in third person and not, like, I don't need to be directly behind my capital ship. Which is why I kind of talk, keep talking about the, the camera being attached. With the full Asgard Osaka fleet, maybe. Yeah. I do find that the Asgard doesn't have enough guns on it either, though, but that's the Terran doctrine, I guess. Oh, nice. That's okay. That's good. You notice that we just destroyed that wreck by flying through it. That's actually really good. Dynastic flying, yeah, but that's, I like that, and, and then if I want to move around, it kind of, it messes with what I'm trying to do. Really bad for fighters. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to be able to, like, turn it on and off. But are you telling me that you're going to put the camera down here while manually controlling a Thanks Corvette or a fighter? Five guard. Could go to the forums, just Yeah, I probably will. Um, go for the beta thing. Feedback. Do, 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 do. I'm really glad they're focusing me. I just wish freighters wouldn't freak out of the drop and drop out of travel because a pirate discover 40 kilometers to give them. Yeah. If you tell them to ignore it, do they actually still stop though and like listen to the pecker? I know they updated that as well. So you go in and your um, global orders. And there's a different section for military ships now. My thing was um, military ships trying to escape and you give them you'd give them a direct order to move to an area that they'd be safe in then then they might get tagged again and stop and then calculate their escape route again so they'd just be sitting there. On the current version, yeah. I think we're actually close enough. He's at the station already, so. We can just sit here and get a better uh, feed on them as they come in. Look, coming in in a straight line. Bolter. It's not the most effective, but I like them. You can even direct their fleeing. You often, so often they could have flown one kilometer 
Oh, you cannot even direct her. Yeah. Yeah, that was my thing. It's like, um, we were attacking a station and one of my ships decided to flee because he'd gone to a section where I hadn't cleared the turrets. And I gave him a direct move order to move, like, probably a couple hundred meters down. And he would have been safe. But uh, he started to move that way and then he started to flee again and stood still calculating it for a second and then fled out on the plane and got wrecked by all the turrets. Little things like that. So we finished the escort mission. Yes. Plus 11 already. And then we're going to finish the CAC mission soon. That's a beautiful place for him to get stuck. Love it. I actually do love that the capital ships break the, the fighter wrecks. And the debris. Love the debris. Oh, we obviously got paid for the other one too, right? Yeah, we got paid for the other mission too. Sweet. Uh, oh yeah, we did that. Okay. Alright, let's find another mission here. What do you think about the design of the Tladi warship? Never been fond of the uh, top-down turret placement. The top-down turret placement. Oh, these ones here, you mean? Um, I have issues with it, but uh, it's not too bad. Thanks for your help. I'm surprised their carrier didn't get a redesign. Thanks for your help. Oh, look at that cluster over there. Well, there's always one in here, isn't there? How are you doing, Rafael, anyway? <clears throat> Let's see if we can get another CAC mission. We could bring over the other um, Phoenix. Actually, we could refit that now. All the M in top and the two L in the bottom. Yet, yeah, that that's the other part of it, right? Oh yeah, it does have the Mark threes. That's why this one is selling for more. Um. Oh, he has a weird mix of shielding. Okay, we'll switch them out. How do you like the paint job? Got our main batteries. We have plasma turrets, sure. Two variants of plasma turrets. I'll leave them there, that's fine. More plasma. Walters. Plasma. More plasma. Yeah, sure, whatever. I was sitting there thinking, oh, I need to stop my ship. <laughs> Love to locate the turrets of Flatty. Yeah, we were we were kind of discussing um, all all of the capital ships are a little light on weaponry, in my mind. So there's a large CAC attack over there. Jesus, there's a few of them. That poor ship. Only someone could help them. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, Beskin offers for Asphires to tell them to stop playing it and stick a flying wake command in their queue that directs them away from the pirate before rescue, uh, resuming course. Yeah, as long as they don't get engaged, because then it'll start overriding it every time. 
<laughs> he thought that was in game chat. <laughs> Yeah, we're kind of saying all of the all of the vanilla capital ships are kind of low on turrets. That's why I was saying I love the the rebirth mod because the ships it brought in had a bunch of turrets and was able they were able to defend themselves a bit better. Yeah, exactly. You want to be taken, taken into again formation and stuff because like the ships don't stop on a dime, do they? I could probably just ram the mines, right? They stop on two dimes. One under each foot, and then they slide along the ground. But like, so take for instance this. This is a destroyer. It is two large turrets and two large main guns, and then it has a bunch of. What has it got? Six. Got nine medium guns covering the entire ship. Like you get an X3 ship and put it next to it where they have turret banks. Like, oof. Expect the the ship is partially intentionally as the go-to pirate ship. Yeah, yeah, because it's slow. But if you look at like the Odysseus, the Behemoth, they're all roughly the same. Yeah, the split have a couple more turrets, right? And that is a lot of mines. Maybe we don't ram them. To get close enough to identify one of them as hostile. Unknown object. Here they go. Let's see how bad that is. That's not too bad. Oh, they're from the Antigone? I was going to say, it's probably going to explode my uh, fighter on the dock. 
<laughs> if only I could uh, open the menu and mark them all as hostile. We could let the DACA flow and be done with this mission in a minute. We went and bought this ship because of a, a missile incident. Vanguard. And it has now procured us a number of capital ships. because you have to retarget everyone next. That's a little bit of an issue with camera that uh, we've kind of discussed. Plus 13. They do have those larger, rather large. Well, they have 4,000 storage. What does a behemoth have? We'll do a comparison here in a second. Docking granted. Successfully done. I love the pain scheme. Yeah, I actually do too. We're using the high tech uh, paint job mod. It's the only mod we have on. Because it doesn't affect anything, but uh, it has a a nice selection of paint jobs. You should see our other Phoenix. One K plus support just kill support fighters that kill five Osakas. What the hell is going on, man? We have this paint scheme on our um, Phoenix for this one. The other one is a little bit brighter. But I do like this. A dark blue with the yellow. Only missing thing is yellow crowns. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, for my ships is the derpiest. What level are your um, captains at as well? This is our other ship. Um, is that large compared to other ship? Oh, yeah, we're going to look at that. Um, so we go in here. Uh, they're large. We'll go with the Behemoth E. Set it on high preset. Add ship. Add Phoenix E. Set it on high preset. Add do, 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 Odyssey E. Odysseus E, you mean? Uh, 
Yes, yeah, so it has 4,000 compared to like 3,100 on the Behemoth, 2,600 on the Odysseus. 25% uh, more. This is the thing though, the, the internal capacity of the Behemoth is much better. And then the Odysseus could carry the mediums. That's the thing with the Odysseus is that uh, it has, you can bring three Nemesis with you. And then like you compare the turret output. The Phoenix has better turret output than the Behemoth with this fit. Wait. Eight medium turrets and two large beam turrets on this. This should have more weapons. This is what we were talking about earlier. Where are the two large turrets? There's one. And there's one. No. It should have two it should have a large shirt there, large shirt there. Large turret there, maybe well maybe that'll turret, it's fine, but like No Barbarossa. <laughs> yeah. But this is this is the case in point, right? The size of this ship it has eight medium turrets and two large turrets. Has two direct fire weapons, fair enough. Phoenix. Phoenix has an extra medium turret compared to the Argon destroyer. And then the Odyssey has 12 medium turrets and four large turrets. I love the Odyssey. And it has its two main weapons. That's a that's a better armed ship. Could rescue one by teleporting, uh, jumping into it. One of your ships. And just alpha striking the stupid K. Yeah. See, like, that's better. So he has six turrets above, six turrets below. With good coverage. And then again, you've got like a good bit of large turret coverage on the bottom, I guess, with the one on top. <laughs> and then there's the rattlesnake. So again, yeah, the rattlesnake is the heavy one, right? With the six large turrets and the twelve mediums. Obviously, the paranid and the split are a little bit more um, militaristic. You have your four forward weapons then as well. Barbarossa has, well, it doesn't have the forward weaponry, but it has more turrets than the behemoth. And what were we saying? Why aren't the turns on that list? I haven't met them yet, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's no cargo. Oh, uh, well, I'm talking more about the turrets. It is 800. That's not no cargo. Anyway, um,
Oh, yeah, we just did that mission. Okay. Wait, what's up with the buffalo? Remits are decent siege weapons with good power drain down the range. Not my first choice for anything requiring a lot of maneuvering though. Well, all of the destroyers have forward mounted weaponry though. We're just doing a little bit of exploring and uh, doing missions while we're at it. We're going to get our uh, wrap up with Antigone and buy a uh, behemoth off them. You're going after that miner, aren't you? Or that trader. Trade off for the shielding? Yeah, probably. The thing is, though, if you come up against the Xenon, if their gamma cannons hit your shields, something like a behemoth can what tank four or five hits? Maybe. Has three shields too. I don't know. I'm just um, kind of making a general. A general thing like um, like because of the lack of offensive weaponry, it doesn't matter that they have like two or three shields when those shields will be erect within thirty to forty seconds of fighting. A Xenon K or something with its main weaponry. You can land multiple hits on the K and it's not gonna knock out its shields at the same rate. Of course, that's probably by design because you know the Xenon are the big bad. It's supposed to be scary. <laughs> And missiles are, yeah, missiles don't care how many shields you have. Which kind of leads into the extra point defense needed. They're mostly there to shrug off smaller stuff. But again, because you don't have enough PD and stuff to kill the smaller stuff, that smaller stuff will take out all your turrets and you'll be left there defenseless. That was a heavy loss. Sucks, man. Especially when it's due to, you know, that kind of stuff. Get him. Actually shoot him. Yes. Circling us again. Oh, so many ships in this vanilla run to AI. Yes, maneuvering. Oh, I feel that. A 
That's why I've been um, using fly and wait commands to attack scene on stations and such. <laughs> well, that could be it, Rafer. Yeah, exactly. Adding half a dozen more turrets to each ship is going to add to calculations, which is multiplied over each ship that's represented in the game. And then the more satellites and all that you have, out, the more stuff has to be calculated and da 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 da. And then your ship, uh, your PC goes on fire. And then you're giving out that the game won't run right. <laughs> Thank you. Catch 22, isn't it? Thanks, Rero. All right, we're at 13 rep. Um, I can't remember what's through the south gate here. Is that Xenon territory already, or is that more Antigone? I want to wait to find out. Do I turn to so we? Besides the plasma missile, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm actually thinking of putting the uh, post lasers on this because they'd be more accurate. I love the DACA. I'm all about style over substance in this kind of stuff, but I would like to hit the target every now and then. And I'm glad I bought this chair from a mouse for five years to finally be able to sit normally for the first time in months by my career. Nice one, dude. Good uh, lumbar support and all that. 1.5 million repairs, buy some repair drones and put some crew in the ship and let it sit for 10 minutes. Like we did with our other Phoenix. Do you remember our Phoenix was at 16% hull? It went up to 72, I think was the max it repairs to, and then we repaired the rest. You always have repair drones? Well then, then don't pay 1.5 million for repairs. on the Kingdom M soundtrack and relax. That is after the drones and people, so what's your hull at? Like 72%? Parent ships are expensive? They are in fairness. Okay, yeah, they are. Speaking of, we are playing as an Argon. So, you know, kind of fair game, right? Argolati, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Surprise. These are all the guys we saw earlier. Give me all your loot. Come on, of all times. Start on the inside. Start as Argo. Don't know why he ended up in Slatty Warship. Uh, scale Plate gave us a, a quote unquote free ship. Forager. Take what you're given. We're, we're only building up. We'll, we'll be going Aragon. We're currently just getting the, our reputation up so that we can buy a behemoth with all the good gear. Aragon, will you call Gondor for aid? Would they come?
Yeah, I like the exploding wrecks. When they hit a capital ship, they explode. Good. Stops them from getting jammed in your hull. I cannot wait to have that in Interworlds. That is going to be fantastic. Horses are well suited for space. Like for steak. Thank you. Well, then, why you put plasma L? I didn't. They're pulse lasers. Aren't they large pulse? I didn't. I didn't change the uh, large turrets. I didn't have access to uh, different large turrets. What are they? Oh yeah, large pulse lasers. Less talking, more raiding. We're fighting. But it's X4 fighting, so it takes a minute. I guard. And looting. But yeah, it's a large post though. <laughs> Okinawa. Job auto save. I haven't done that a while. An X4 with as much fighting as Count Radio would be a bit crazy. I'm torn between um, the old world. Yeah, I was wondering what that was. The old world, um, Realm of Thrones, and waiting for the Kingdom of Arda. To do a full run of Banner Lord on stream. Or just going back to Warband and doing like Warsword Conquest or something. We need to um, finish doing our rep. I'm going to call it there for now. Um, it's like, like five and a half hours. Thank you very much for hanging out. And uh, I'll probably be back on in a couple of hours. Do something different. Plenty of options. Uh, who else is doing...
X4. Uh, Valran is doing a run there. Fair, thank you for the follow. Enjoy food. I have to decide what I want to eat, man. Uh, that's Russian and that's German. It's French. Uh, you have tactical in your tag, so no. I guess we're gonna go for um Alrano. These Germans? These Germans. 